Hey Rami, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Um, can you start by giving us a little bit of background about yourself? Uh, my name is Rami, 23 years old. Uh, I'm from Iraq uh, and uh, living in Sweden right now. Uh, been here since uh, 2002. Uh, moved with my family here. Uh, and uh, I'm training here in Gothenburg, uh, South Sweden. Uh, working like seventy five percent side fighting, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a daughter. You have a daughter as well. Yeah. So you're a family man, is it? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, Rami, uh, you started off uh, into MMA into mixed martial arts at a very rocky start. You lost your you, your uh, your debut, then you yes. lost your third fight. Um, so now between after that you are you're on a six fight winning streak right so between your first and your third or your between your first and your fourth fight was there at any point you thought to yourself that mixed martial arts was not for you yeah it was actually uh, between that um, after my first loss I said okay it was a bad uh, luck I broke my elbow uh, then I did one fight. It was it wasn't a good fight. I was really tired. I won the fight, but I didn't good, uh, do a good job. Then I lo lost my third fight in split decision. Pretty tough fight. Then in the middle of the fight, I was thinking, "Shit, is this really what I should to do?" Uh, every, I just think about only negative. Yeah, I will finish the fighting after that. Uh, I will find do something else, start to play football, uh, but uh, for some reason I get motivated again. Mm -hmm. And what kept you going? Huh? What kept you Excuse going? Me? Where? What kept you fighting? Uh, it. I don't know actually. When I when I started fighting, it was like. Yeah, I was with a friend, start the train, uh, and I saw, okay, I can this, I can be good, win competitions, be something. Uh, just fighting, because I, I love to do it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, Rami, tell, tell me something. Uh, now, after your third uh, loss, you've been on a six-fight winning streak, so you, you've been undefeated ever since. T tell us a little bit about your journey so far. Uh, uh, you lost and then you came back stronger. So tell us about yeah. your 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 uh, journey ever since um, into MMA. Yeah, I started train harder than ever. I remember the day after the fight, I was walking and uh, thinking about what to do, uh, and I t t told myself I will give it a chance, uh, and I will work harder than ever. Uh, it's no matter who I will fighting, I will prove myself. It was two weeks after the last third, uh, my third MMA fight. I was in a Swedish championship in grappling, and came in third place. And uh, two weeks after that, I did a pro fight in Muay Thai against the Norwegian championship uh, champion, third time champion, and I won that fight. I was really motivated, and I said. If I want, really want to do it, I can. And uh, since then, I have been trained mm -hmm. hard. Like, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Now, now speaking of which, uh, you're, you, you've been competing in grappling and you've been competing in Muay Thai as well. Now, when you're in the yes. octagon, uh, where are you most comfortable at? Are you more, more comfortable grappling on the ground? Are you more comfortable wrestling or are you more comfortable striking? In wrestling, I think is the wrestling. It's been wrestling because uh, my opponents been uh, strikers or grapplers. I never met a good wrestler. This is maybe why I think I'm more co comfortable. Maybe I, uh, if I fight the wrestler, I will be comfortable to stand up or grapple with him. But right now, I feel better uh, to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Rami, uh, can you talk a little bit about your coaches and sparring partners? Right now, I uh, before my last fight, I changed uh, my club from uh, Gothenburg, 
uh, MMA to Swedish top team. It's a new gym in uh, Gothenburg. It's like all star in Stockholm. It's uh, many guys from different clubs in Gothenburg uh, train with us now together from uh, Gladius MMA, Gothenburg MMA, Frölunda, uh, different clubs. So we have a lot of guys in my uh, weight class right now. So we have very good uh, sparring partners. Uh, Brazilian black belt guy, uh, freestyle wrestlers, and uh, wrestling wrestling coach. And I have now uh, a new coach too. So everything is changed. Uh, the only I have left from before is my uh, physical trainer. He's really good. So uh, everything is new, but uh, I, I won my last fight, so mm -hmm. uh, I feel good. I feel better than ever. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, now, uh, do you have a day job, uh, Rami? And if so, how are you balancing it with your with your training? Uh, my job is I work like seventy four five uh, seventy five percent, like I said. Uh, it's like thirty hours in week. Uh, mostly of that, I work uh, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. When I don't train, I train one time on Sunday, and uh, then I work half day, so I can train before the job and after the job. Uh, so only Tuesday I work whole day, like twelve hour. So I rest Tuesday and uh, Saturdays because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I work uh, longer. So I balance it like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your job, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I work in, in the company's name is Olens. Uh -huh. It's like uh, IKEA, but it's only in Sweden. It's not outside. Like HM, we sell everything: clothes, uh -huh. uh, home stuff like knives, uh, okay, glasses, everything. It's okay. a big store. That's very nice. Now, uh, now the last. Now you signed on with the Desert Force, which is a Middle Eastern um, MMA promotion. Yes. Um, and before that, you've been f fighting for various European promotions. How does Desert Force compare to the previous promotions uh, in terms of the level of fighter that you're going up against? Desert Force is very professional. Uh, I've never been in the uh, same uh, organization like Desert Force. It's very big. They are really professional. They try to be like UFC, the best uh, but maybe the fighters is different. Uh, mm -hmm. It's maybe some better fighters in Europe, but they getting better for every time. I I've been watching this Force One, Two until now, and every time they have better card and better fighters. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they are growing very fast. I think in one two years they will uh, be like Bellator or One FC, mm -hmm. same uh, level. Speaking of Bellator, One FC, and the UFC, do you plan on um, on uh, moving on from Desert Force at some point to one of these other promotions as well? Maybe I I like to fighting, and uh, Desert Force is very good uh, for me. They uh, I've been fighting their two last uh, events, Desert Force twelve and thirteen. I think it was. Uh, they take care of me and. Uh, I like it, uh, but of course I love. I would love to fight in uh, one FC in Japan or uh, mm -hmm. Malaysia, Singapore, mm -hmm. uh, Bellator to fight in US against uh, the best guy in featherweight to see where I am. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Also UFC, it's a challenge for me. So I would lo love to fight against uh, the good guys in my weight class. Excellent, Rami. Now, do you know anything about who your next opponent is? Or who would you prefer to fight? No, I, I don't know. Nothing. They talk about the French guy who is from uh, Morocco, Algeria. I don't know. The, now I heard last day, uh, yeah, he don't want to fight. So someone told me. I have people I know in France everywhere. <laughs> I ask them every day. So I, I don't know, nothing, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, who is your favorite fighter? And wh who's your favorite fighter who you like to emulate in the cage? 
I like yeah, I like my Conor McGregor. He's a uh, stand up. I, I really love his style. And uh, George St. Pierre, his fighting style, how, how he win, how he control controlize his op opponent, uh, neutralizing his uh, opponent's jutsu with his wrestling. He never takes the guy down. Uh, when he shoot, you say, say here is uh, George St. Pierre. When he shoot, he don't take the guy to to the cage. He take him right right, to, right away on his place. Mm -hmm. So I love his style. Uh, so explosive, uh, so smart. I try to be like him when I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. Now you recently moved to. Uh, you've been living in Sweden. Um, it's your it's your new adopted country. You're a family yes. man. You've got a daughter. Um, when you go into the cage, who do you represent? Uh, is it Iraq or is it Sweden or both? It's both. Uh, in Desert Force, I represent Iraq, of mm -hmm. course. But uh, I've been having. Uh, I had my uh, Swedish sh short. It's a uh, blue, blue, yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, last fight, I had a black short, but I had a logo of Sweden. Mm -hmm. So I represent both because uh, I'm from Iraq, but uh, Sweden been. Uh, I living here and. Uh, is there any particular? Course. Is there any particular reason you don't uh, represent Sweden in Desert Force? Yeah, because Desert Force is for uh, Middle East fighters. It's like Iraq fighting against Algeria. Because my opponent was from French, but they said he's from Algeria. Mm -hmm. he, he originally was from Algeria, and they do Arab against Arab. So, mm -hmm. this is why. So, yes. uh, uh, on an end note, Rami, is there anybody you would like to thank? Uh, is there any message you would like to give out to somebody? Thank your sponsors. Uh, to everyone, believe in your dreams. If you believe in your dreams and uh, work hard, you will get it. Uh, and uh, I will thank my sponsors, uh, Jabda Thessi, uh, Epic Fighting, uh, my fitness coach uh, uh, Martin Brinde and aloe vera drink the drink from aloe vera mm -hmm. uh, my uh, team Swedish top team my training partner and the coaches uh, thank you thank you Rami I really appreciate your time thank you thank you